It's your boy Lucia because I am your favorite father's favorite father thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch about me. You dig? All right. In the past week, we've had some dope music drop, some bullshit. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a quick coverage on a couple of tracks that got dropped recently. All right, let's get, get get the bullshit out the way. Earlier this week, there was a, a guy by the name of Joshua Joshua. I don't know how you pronounce his name. J A S I A H. Featuring your one and only Queen of New York, 6 9 Now, of course, we all know 6 9 is in jail right now. And I feel quite sad for this dude that wasted the money in this feature. He's like, damn, I don't waste all this money on 6 9 feature. And this nigga turned out to be a snitch. What do I do with the shit I spend this money on? I put it out anyway. You can tell this dude was just very sick and just lost. Like, damn, fuck it. I just put this track out anyway and pay like $5,000 for the feature. Fuck it. This is my everything, my life savings. Heart goes out to you, brother. Hopefully your shit does not sell anything. Um, Slim Jesus dropped the track last week. Wow, Slim Jesus still making music. Last time I seen this nigga, he was getting a noogie in the club. Hmm, a noogie. A motherfucking noogie. NBA Almighty, or YBN, I apologize. YBN Almighty, young bitch niggas. Um... You just got a wedgie and kicked in your head. You should not be talking about nothing gangster at all. Nothing. All right? Uh, and earlier this week, I was playing some Draco the Ruler, going world star hip hop. What do I see? A Draco track featuring O3 Greedo. Free the cuz, free the cuz. If you haven't heard that track, go check it out. It's called Let's Go. Kodak Black dropped a new track, a little T.I. disc. No, I like Kodak. He makes good music. Unfortunately, he's an airhead. A real airhead. We know this. We, we, we're not knocking his talent. He goes off the wall every now and then, says some stupid shit, gets himself into some trouble. Your typical Kodak. So shout out to Kodak for that new dope track. Uh, Lil Boosie dropped a new mixtape. Boosie Badass. No, Badass 3.5. Everybody was clowning him because they said he sold like only 300 copies of his mixtape. Now, if Bookie's only sold 300 copies, that should be more reason for every real nigga to go out there and stream his shit and support his shit. Like, damn, a real nigga only sold 300 and this bitch nigga selling? That means y'all niggas supporting this in the closet homosexual shit. So go go jam that boozy badass 3.5. That shit is pretty dope. I'm listening to this shit like three times today. Support real niggas. Let the other shit fade. <sighs> My nigga motherfucking dope boy Troy Ave. More money, more problems. Another dope track. Fuck with Troy, Troy Ave. Everybody um, basically always criticizes him because he has to go to court. Yes, his man was killed in the club. He snatched a gun on a nigga hand and shot the nigga. So yes, he has to go to court. It happens. <sighs> Savvy third, motherfucking stupid young. Hey, shout out to the homies. Dropped a new track called Crip Street. That shit snapping, cuz. Go check that shit out. <sighs> Last on this list, motherfucking little dicky. I fuck with Lil Dicky, man. Like anytime Lil Dicky drops a, a track or a short film, it's always something deep. He got this new track called Earth. Yo, yo, Lil Dicky knows some shit, man. He knows some shit that we probably don't know. Like, yo, yo, that boy awake. But yeah, go check those, those tracks out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Relationally Cuz, like the Facebook fan page, The Relationally Cuz Show. Until next time, smoke for your boy, Triples.